Hi and welcome. Let's move on with the next patch programming with the topic physical modeling. Actually, the Blofeld is not a physical modeling synthesizer. There are some digital physical modeling synthesizers out there, but the Blofeld actually does not belong to this, um, to this group of synthesizers. But what is physical modeling? Physical modeling actually means that um, you want to um, emulate um, parts of a classical instrument like a flute, a trumpet or a bagpipe. So you want to emulate, for instance, um, the, the attack phase of some of these instruments or the sustain phase. You want to emulate the effect of um, sound going through a pipe, um, noise effects, effects with strings and so on. So real physical modeling synthesizers have very complex algorithms to emulate all of these aspects of a classical instrument. But let's try to get some of um, these things out from a Blofeld. As you can see, I have many notes on my patch sheet, which you can download from my website. You can find the link to the PDF file down in the video description. So this will be a quite complex patch this time. Let's start with a initial patch. First of all, we are going to use two wave tables in oscillator one and two, which are called car plus strong. The car plus strong algorithms are quite often used in real physical modeling synthesizers. And this algorithm is named after two guys called strong and car plus. This algorithm is using a feedback loop to create a sound similar to a um, string. And the Blofeld is providing wavetable types with um, the result of this algorithm. So we are going to use these wavetables in oscillator 1 and 2. In oscillator 1 we're going to change the octave and the level slightly. And we are going to change the pulse width parameter. As you know the pulse width is the wavetable position if you are using a wavetable oscillator. And we are going to use this wavetable position with LFO3. And we can use the very same um, wavetable type in oscillator 2. As you can see, the Blofeld has three different carpal strong wavetables. and the modulation for oscillator 2. Also with LFO3.
Now we are going to change the nature of the patch by um, reducing it to a monophonic patch. Many um, classical instruments out there are also monophonic um, instruments like flutes, um, like trumpets and so on. And we are going to um, add some glide because um, if you play um, a classical instrument like a bagpipe it's not always perfectly in tune and so we can um, add some um, organic character to the sound. Both oscillators are going through filter 1, so let's have a look on filter 1. We can change the um, type of filter 1 to a comp filter. Again, a comp filter is something which you can find sometimes in physical modeling synthesizers, creating um, a very strange um, metallic character. Also, um, you can use the comp filter to create a um, character of a um, wooden resonance. And we can also add some drive to our filter to get um, more um, frequencies um, which are behaving very widely, creating a natural and organic character. This is already a very interesting patch. So let's go on with filter 2, which we put in sequence to filter um, 1. And we can change um, the type of filter 2 to a high pass with a cutoff of 58. With this trick, we can get rid of um, the disturbing low frequencies which simply take too much space in the sound um, causing problems later in the mixing. Now let's have a look on the amp envelope. We're changing the attack phase to 31. 30k to 78. The sustain to 70. And the release to 54. Okay, so this is already an interesting patch, but now we want to get some randomness into this patch. And we can um, do this with LFO3. As you remember, we routed LFO3 to the wavetables of oscillator 2 and 1. So let's have a look on LFO3. And we are going to change the shape to the random mode with the speed of 50.
with a random modulation, you can create um, a natural chaos or a human touch. And we can also use LFO2 with similar parameters, also in random mode, but with the speed of 27. And now you can, for instance, modulate um, the speed of LFO1, for instance. with LFO2 and you can modulate the pitch with LFO1. so that you get a organic vibrato. And as the next trick, we want to um, simulate the, the noisy breath sound of a instrument like a flute or a saxophone and so on. Therefore, we are going back to the oscillator section, to the, to the noise, with some noise level. We can change um, the color of this noise. And we're going to route the noise directly to filter 2. But this noise is too loud, so we just want to have the noise in the attack phase and not um, in the sustain phase. So that we are going to um, modulate the level of this noise with a different envelope. We are going to use envelope 3 for this trick. It will be used in the normal ADSR mode with some attack. No decay. Maximum sustain phase. And a release of forty two. So this is not fitting well for what we want to have. So we want to have the noise only in the attack phase and maybe a little bit in the release phase. But what we have now is quite the opposite. So what we have to do is to um, modulate the noise with a negative value. So let's get back to the modulation matrix. Let's add another entry. Envelope 3. As you know, our noise oscillator already does have some level, so we're going to use um, the modulation slot to reduce the level of the noise. Let's say with 37. As you can hear, the noise will only appear in the attack and in the release phase. And now we want to add some more modulation of the pitch. 
sometimes when you play a classical instrument, the pitch and the beginning will behave um, strangely like pitching up um, from a high pitch down in a very short um, time period or down to up. So we also need envelope 4 in this case, also in the normal ADSR mode with an attack of 70. Sustain is maximum and the release time is 56. So what I want to achieve is a pitch which is um, changing in the attack phase going to the normal pitch and in the release phase it will be again a change. Envelope 4 is not fitting for this so we have to use um, the modifiers to change um, the modulation of envelope 4. First we choose envelope 4 as the modulation source and a constant value of minus 64 and we're going to use the operator multiplication. So what I'm doing here is I take um, envelope 4 and I'm inverting the signal to the negative value. And as a next step we're going to use modifier 2 to change the result of modifier 1 and we are adding a constant value of 63. So I inverted the signal of um, envelope 4 and now I'm shifting it up and we are going to use this result in the next modulation slot. So modifier 2 will be used to change the overall pitch. As you can hear, the pitch will go down in the attack phase, will be in the normal pitch, and then when I release the key, it will rise up again. And as a last step to make the sound more vivid, we can add some reverb. And that's the final patch. Of course, this is a patch which wants to be played, uh, which means that you have to use the modulation wheel and the pitch wheel and you should also um, use the aftertouch to um, have fully control on many different parameters of this patch to create a more vivid, a more human-like or natural sound. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, make your thumbs up make a comment, don't forget to subscribe. Again, if you have more video ideas, don't forget to share them with us. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.